I want to welcome all of you here. I'm Brian Brashad. I'm the site director for Google Seattle. And uh, I'm really happy to, that we're in a position where we can sponsor this conference on scalability. And more happy that you all took time out of your, your lives to come and spend a Saturday here. So um, I want to welcome you all there. Uh, I'm going to do something that I'll do later, and you'll see why I do it, but you'll understand what it means. Uh, there are about 500 people registered for this conference, but I'm going to say hundreds and hundreds of people have registered for this conference. And you'll see why, you'll see why I do that in a minute. Um, there are about a third of, the, third of the conference attendees are from academia, and about two-thirds are from industry. That's actually a really good mix, which I'll mention, I'll describe why in just a moment, but I want to give you that mix. Uh, something else, although this conference was initially conceived of as being a local event, um, lo locality is kind of different in the 21st century. We have five countries represented, both in terms of the audience and the speakers. So we've got Australia, Canada, France, Germany, and the U.S. So I'm pretty pleased by the, uh, the, number, of different, the number of different countries represented here. Just as a little bit of background, the conference was started, uh, uh, last year was the first one, this is the second instance. The conference was started by Googlers because they recognized that they looked across industry publications or the more academic publications that there was really uh, an absence of solid material on scale. You could find it in the papers here and there, but as a single theme, the, the concept of scale was not that well represented in the materials that were available to the community overall. And uh, the Googlers felt that there was an opportunity to really bring people together and have a conference focused on that single theme of scale with very few restrictions on what other topics uh, one could discuss. So it could be uh, scalable programming languages, scalable storage systems, scalable, uh, scalable networks. It didn't really matter as long as the theme was scale, the idea being that with that theme should come some valuable lessons and, uh, and interesting things to do go forward. Last year's success was, what, last year's conference was pretty successful. Uh, the idea was to do it again this year and now you're all part of that. Um, I want to mention why scale is important to Google and give you just a few statistics to give you a sense not only of where we are but where we think we're going. Not so much to talk about what in particular Google is doing but to talk about where the industry is going. I don't have statistics for Microsoft, I don't have st statistics for Yahoo, um, but I do know where the industry overall is going. Um, just looking at, at search, we're servicing about 600 million unique people every month. So that's 600 million different, search, different users come and try to do a query against Google's data centers, trying to learn something. On the one hand, that's a lot. On the other hand, 600 million is only 10%. So if you think about, if you think about it from, 10, from the 10% perspective, there's a lot of work left to be done to deal with the other 90% of the planet. And so some of the technologies that you'll see today, on the one hand, may seem very compelling. On the other hand, they're going to be a little underwhelming if you think about it in terms of six billion. How do we get to that? Um, as we've moved away from search, which is a very transactional kind of uh, relationship, and have delivered more and more applications, things like mail, talk, uh, social networking, we're really still at the very beginning and the kinds of infrastructures that, that, that we and Microsoft and, and Yahoo have been building um, for search are really starting to stress. Now that's a stress that's coming out as you get to numbers of users on the order of tens to hundreds of millions, um, substantially fewer than the number doing search, but, it provide, but you need to do things that are not so much transactional, but interactive and long-term. And we'll see some technologies today that address the need of, of interactive, long-term uh, activity. One of the other things that's happened over the last couple of years, and, and probably everyone in this room has used, has used YouTube, is that video has become a new means of information distribution on the internet. Um, there are about 70 million people in the US who use, who use YouTube on a regular basis. That's about one in four people are using YouTube. It's pretty substantial for a technology that's only, or a product that's only been out there for a few years. Now more compelling, YouTube doesn't own most of, that, most of the overall video market. So, that, so YouTube is responsible only for about a quarter of the videos that people watch out on the internet. Two things to take away from that. One is there's lots of opportunity for diversity in how we deliver video over the net. And the second is at 60 to 70 million people using it just in the US today, there's a lot of people who aren't using it. So it's likely that the solutions that we and the other companies have built are not going to scale up in their current instance. We're gonna have to think of new ways to deliver video to the six billion people on the planet. 
Uh, we're at the very beginning of delivering video over mobile. Uh, while there may be 70 or 80 million people a month using YouTube from a console, it's just on the order of millions, small numbers of millions who are doing it today on mobile. That will change. That will change the requirements of the back-end infrastructure. Again, scaling for video will, will create new problems going forward. All of, these, all of these new technologies or these new products are, are driving companies like Google to think very hard about how we build systems that scale in the future. And that gets now back to the goal or the rationale of the Googlers when they put this conference together. They were after, they were after a forum in which two things could happen. The first, dissemination. How can we get people together and, and have them talk to one another about the scalable infrastructures that they're building, the scalable technologies that they're building, so that people need not reinvent the wheel? So the first, the first real goal of this conference is dissemination. And the second goal of the conference is inspiration. Presumably, people will get together and discover that nobody is working on a particular problem, yet that particular problem is looming. And then people will run off and think about how are we going to solve that problem going forward. So great conferences have these two attributes, dissemination and inspiration. And, and what I want to ask you when you leave at the end of the day is, what is it that you learned? Ask yourself. And what is it that you want to go do next that you didn't want to do before you got here? And I'm hopeful that each and every one will, of you will come away with something that you learned and something that you realized you needed to do next. And if so, please come back next year and invite your friends. And if not, that's, that'd be great feedback that, that we should get as to how we should improve the conference to increase the quality of the information here so that there's better dissemination and better inspiration. Thank you.